What's up, everybody? Jason for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We just filled up our Jazbees 55 box last baseball mixer of the decade random teams. And here you go, guys. This is also early bird break. We just did a football mixer a little earlier. It was a pretty long one. We're back doing another big football uh, baseball mixer this time. And again, it's 55 boxes. And we have an early bird, so we sold 29 spots. We had to sell some of these and give away some of them in spot randoms and stuff like that. But we did have an early bird, so if you bought the f one of the first 16 spots straight up, you get entered to win a free spot. And again, this mixer includes these boxes here, 22 boxes of Topps Chrome Mega Boxes update. And then of course, the rest of the box list down there. Remember, no veteran commons, no paper ship. And please note, some of these boxes may not have all 30 teams represented, depending on what box it is. But again, it'll have a different years, of course, 2017, 18, and 19. I think that's back to 2016. It's a pretty fun mixer, guys. You can see here in this photo, right here in our card bar. Pretty f awesome stuff. And again, we we'll use the same dice for the early bird and the customer names and the teams. So this is for the early bird here. The first 16 spots sold between John down to Paul. And here are the customer names here. And then we'll leave one open there for the early bird down there. Was there an auto football in those randomizers? I'm not sure what you're talking about. The auto football won't be, we're giving away later for buying a spot today in breaks. Alright guys, dice roll it. We got a two and a three five times. Good luck. This is for the early bird. One, two, three, four, and fifth and final time. Jeffrey Pete's at the top, so you're going to win a free spot for buying a spot. Uh, the first 16 spots, nice. There you go. A little plus sign. That way you know you got the, from the free early bird spot. Now let's go five times on the list of customer names. One, two, three, four, and five. Five times. Allen down to Jeffrey. Let's go five times on the teams. One, two, three, four, and five. Orioles down to the Mets. Adam with the Orioles. Stevie K with the Royals. Jeffrey with the Blue Jays as well as the Rocky with your free spot. Chance with the Yankees, Paul with the Mariners, John with the White Sox, Jeffrey with the Phillies, Richard with the Pirates, Chris with the Padres, Jazz with the Tigers, Jeffrey with the Marlins, Brian with the Reds, Brian Magnus with the Angels, Brian Crouch with the Reds, Ian, you have the Cubs, Robert with the D-backs, Josh with the Giants, Mary Lou, you have the Red Sox, Brian with the Astros, Jeffrey with the A's, John McCall, you have the Cardinals, Jeffrey with the Twins, Last Ball Mojo, Brian with the Indians, Jeffrey with the Braves, Nick, you have the Texas Rangers, Nick LaPlante as well with Spot Random 5, got the Dodgers. Brian, you have the Nationals, Jeffrey with the Rays, Brewers, and the Mets. So there you go, guys. I'm not going to pause the video, but I'll give you guys a couple minutes to make any trades if you guys would like. And then if not, we'll print and then we'll rip. <laughs> Probably, John.
All right, so make any trades, guys. You guys like, just let me know if it's confirmed. Oh, cool, no worries. Can I get this order? Yeah, no worries. These boxes are actually not there. Oh, I'm sorry, Robert. I'll send you a little something, man, for my mistake. if anything's confirmed. Anything's confirmed, guys. Let me know. So let's see, great uh, Tigers for Orioles confirmed. Jazz saying North Detroit for Orioles. Okay, we got one confirmed. Awesome. DK? boxes right here. You see the remaining ones? I'll put them right here. Actually, not right there, actually. Where could I put them? Right here on the couch. Joe Pizzle? 
Let me spray that negativity in here right now. All right, then. We got one trade. Trade window closed. Yeah, but isn't the other guy pretty good for Detroit, too? Besides Adley, what's the other guy's name? It's actually a pretty fair trade if you're looking at prospects. The Detroit Tigers have a really good prospect that sells pretty well. I forget his name. All right, guys, so we had one trade. As you can see, we're live still, right? Yes, we're live. So, Jazz traded the Tigers uh, for the Orioles to Allen. So now, Jazz has the Orioles, and we'll do a... Uh, what kind of character sign can we do? Do the eagle sign. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And Allen now has the Tigers. So there you go, a little trade mojo. Alright guys, now it's print rip. Alright guys, and for the most part, let me switch scenes with you. Uh, I posted most of the boxes are here on my table. These are all going to be the 22 uh, mega boxes. It's pretty much almost half the mixer. And then right here to my right are the rest of the boxes. And then if you want to see all the way to the back, guys, there's the remaining stack of boxes right there. The two Immaculates, I think it's three Chronicles, a couple of uh, Gold Label, one Breaking, and one Pantheon. Just to let you know. Just I didn't have enough room to put them right here, so just kind of wanted to get that started. Alright guys, so I'm actually just going to start ripping through all of these little chrome packs and look for one auto and and one of one super factors. Is it the fourth quarter already? Yeah, the loser plays the... The loser plays the Eagles. I know, Big Rick, trust me. I've, I've had my share with Mega Boxes. I guess they really want to just call it Mega Box, but I agree. Trust me, I've seen much bigger Mega Boxes <laughs> for just like six packs, especially the football ones. Go look at like Donner's Optic Mega Boxes for 2017. Huge boxes, like monstrous for just like six packs. Like, all right, dude, we get it. They're mega boxes.
I'll rip over these boxes first. I mean, I get it. <laughs> but it's just kind of funny. Save the trees, as Big Rick sex says. I mean, obviously, we need to use a little bit of the trees for these cardboard cards, but <laughs> the boxes, we can make save much less there. Hey Sean, are you gonna? Do, I'm gonna ask you this: since you are a season ticket holder at the Chargers here at the Dignity Sports Center thing, at the Arena, sorry. Oh, it's called the Stuff Hub still though. Um, do you get like priority for like the new stadium, and like, do you still pay a good price, or is it still so much more expensive? Since you've been supporting like. Uh, you know, the Chargers before they make the move to the new stadium. Like, do you guys still get taken care of? First box. Ooh, is that a red coming up? Oh no, it's an orange. Mitch Keller. Out of 25. I think I passed the Vlad rookie. Aaron. Tatis. Thanks. 
Travis Homer. The rookie in this year's class as well. And we got Lane Thomas for St. Louis. It's going to John. Dave Ruth. Rookie debut Alonzo. Springer. Little Vlad family business. Russell Wilson got crushed. All right, so we're over the next couple of boxes.
Oh. Fourth and ten, guys. Are you guys watching this game or what? <laughs> well, they can get a they can get a first down without getting a touchdown, but this is gonna hurt now. Alright guys, we'll go to the next couple boxes. They're gonna burn the house. Money ground up, yeah. Huh. Yeah, you didn't get it. Need Alonzo. Oh, Fernando Tatis right here. Oh man, it's gonna be a ten second runoff. They're not going to run a JR. They didn't learn from the Super Bowl. <laughs> He's going to be a distraction. It's going to be a play action watch. <laughs> They're still not going to give it to him. Don't get sacked. Intercepted! Oh, he dropped it. Whew. Yeah, it's going to come down a fourth and goal, guys. Watch. I know. Seriously, can't just run a slant right in the middle or something? 
the title lock and slant right to the middle. Ooh, we got a red Brian Reynolds. Four out of five. Richard with the Pirates. God, is this guy still going? He didn't get in. Wow, he got stopped at the one yard line. He didn't get in. The ball did not go over the plane. No, he, he didn't get in. He's, he's. No. Man, he hit him so hard to stop his momentum. What do you guys think? Is everybody watching this or is everybody sleeping already? Clearly in, JR. No, he's not in. The ball doesn't cross the plane. I don't think he's in. I don't honestly think he's in. And I'm not trying to say the Seahawks I don't want them to win but he's already down right there the elbow's down and then the ball's not crossing the plane his arm could be in the end zone but the ball has to cross Yeah, it should have been passing for his third down, but that's unfortunate they can't challenge that. For sure. I mean, look, look if missed calls are going to happen, you know? Oh, it's over. Yeah, this is kind of like the uh, Super Bowl game with uh, with Dyson, Tennessee, and the Rams. Remember how close he was? Although this guy's much closer. <laughs> are playing against the Seahawks.
Eagles and Seahawks next week. This dude should have spun right when he caught it. Yeah, well, now that the 49ers won, they have a first round bye and they're the number one seed. Now the Seahawks have to travel to Philly. Which, earlier in the season, about maybe what, six weeks ago, Eagles could have beat them at home. They ended up losing the game by like, I think a touchdown or so. And the Eagles have been playing really good as of late with no receivers, running backs banged up, linemen banged up. Eagles lost their right starting tackle, right starting guard. With Brooks. Now you have Lane Johnson out as your right tackle. Miles Sanders got injured today. LeBlanc got injured, or Maddox got injured today. But, I don't know. They've been playing pretty well. I'm not sure. I think they're going to announce them right now. I don't know which game was slated to be on Saturday. I hope it's a Saturday, actually, because then I can watch it. <laughs> watch it in peace, at least. Without you guys seeing me get frustrated if they lose. Then on Sunday. But on my luck, it's going to happen on a Sunday. But hey, man, if the Eagles were to win... And upset the Seahawks. And they come and play San Francisco in the second round. And I'd love to see that game.
Ooh, Pete Alonzo. That's very nice. Uh, 199. Ramirez for the Mets. Or sorry, for the Marlins. Alright, four more of these boxes and then we'll be actually halfway through the mixer pretty much. These are what, 22 boxes out of the 55? So, I have about another, what, 28 boxes or so? Or 30 boxes, I think, around there. Oh, 30 plus, actually. But the good thing is that those actually will be able to help me right now. I believe so, so. Should be good.
bombs though. We got a green Yasiel Puig. It's 99. And we got Griffin Canning, purple, to 175. Angels. guys so now I'm gonna start moving in some more boxes Heritage Baseball. One box holder inside. This is Heritage High Number, actually. I'm not sure, Vanilla. They're retail boxes, so they're not guaranteed, but it says look for one autograph or super fractor, I believe. I'm talking about for the, uh, like the, uh, Chrome Update boxes? Mega boxes? Yeah, because they're not every box, unfortunately. 
this high number stuff. I don't know if you want to do that. Let's take a look. This high number says, look for one, a, a real one autograph or relic card in every box. Dude, this guy looks like Aaron Rodgers. Scott Alexander. <laughs> and here's a relic Buster Posey. I don't hope that, Patrick, but it's okay. Yeah, I've seen that, which is all good. I'll be breaking with you guys, but probably try to not pay attention so much. Award winners, Christian Yelich. Nah, I mean, if they lose, say. They lose, right? <laughs> they win, great. I'm actually, I mean, I'm looking forward to the Eagles now making the playoffs. Don't get me wrong, but... Um, I'm going to go to the Rose Bowl game on Wednesday on New Year's Day, so I'm more excited for that right now, honestly. Get to see Justin Herbert, his last game on Oregon, play against Wisconsin for the Rose Bowl. I'm more excited for that, right? <sighs> Big college football, huh? Scratch off. Yeah, and if there's short runs that I may have missed, guys, I know the shipping team would know these, so they'll look through all the base and take off the, take that out. No, no, go with my wife and then my family. One of my cousins works on uh, the, like, communications there at the Rose Bowl game. Hank Aaron. What's up? Remote? Oh, it's over here. Hmm. So... He always goes every year and then they get tickets, but I bought my own tickets, so I'm just going to tailgate with them. Doncic versus LeBron. Oh, yeah, I thought I thought they said he got injured earlier, but maybe not. I, I think he's fighting through a groin injury, but... What are you getting into next? College? You want to do the college first? Maybe that would be better. Start writing some college stuff. 
I'm not gonna leave these out. I would assume we'll go by checklist if there is one, right? Yeah, we'll go by checklist on these and, I mean, we'll look them up at the end. Some of, most of them have the, the cities on them. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I have a gorilla. I'm playing the Eagles now, so it's crazier. I think everyone should see my hands either on the face cam right here or on the camera back here. You can see my hands right there. There we go. There we go. So everything is on the up and up. Mike Bobby, what's going on? How are you? Know a song, Boston? What's our closer here? Michael Massey. What are we closing with? I don't know. I'll probably the back of the boxes. Oh, we have, oh, oh, oh there's still this. more back there. Okay. Yeah, I showed him on the t I showed him on the couch over there. there. Cotterial, which is the Dominican Prospect League. Well, set set those inside. aside, yeah, because that might that we that we'll have to look at. Some of those will go to a team. Most of those will be randomized to one person in the break as one lot. Blake Walston. That is what Angels to 250. And we've got Tyler Dyson for Washington. I like girls. Reed Detmers at a 99. Randy De Jesus, 250. KCP with 19 points in that? All right. At a 999, Fletcher, Cavaco from Minnesota. Seth Beer, 199. Postal. Ontario. That's Minnesota. We got a 149, Menace, from New York. And then we got Jean, Dominican, Lee. Ryan Garcia, Minzner, Joe Smith, from New York. We got CJ Alexander for Atlanta. Bobby Wood Jr. to 25. Ooh, nice Bobby Wood Jr. Second Stephen overall pick. Oh, nice. There you go. Bro, Stephen K. Nice, Stephen Kendrick. I think they were up for trade, but nobody wanted to trade for them. I trade, couldn't trade Mojo. 
Yeah, they kept him out of draft this year. I guess um, people were saying the number two overall pick generally gets pulled and pulled from draft and gets put in Bowman baseball. Yeah, that's right. So he's not in he's not in uh, Bowman, but he is in this elite. That's a good hit. Oh. All right, yeah, and we'll look these up, guys, and then we'll still do a randomizer depending on how many prospects that yeah, are not going to be I'll affiliated. I'll set those aside, and I'll, I'll look those up after yeah. I rip all these. And then uh, we'll do the randomizers. Some more collegiate. Yeah, so we still have two more of that elite. Yeah. Akintara. Hey, Brett, what's going on? We got Rodolfo. Dominican Lee, Taylor Trammell for Cincinnati. Eloy Diaz, or Eddie Diaz, sir. School Law. Spinola. Jason Dominguez. Two S's. I've never seen Jason spell two S's. Whoa. Jocelyn. Jo Jocelyn. It's <laughs> Jocelyn. You can call him Jocelyn from now on. Yvonne Herrera. I, I still like LSU, but I can't count out, count out Clemson with uh, with Sunshine over there. Sunshine. You know what I mean? Like, I just yeah. can't. It's just, he's amazing. You know? It's going to be a great national championship, though. Yeah, J J Jason... Jason Dominguez is the prospect that uh, is pretty big. Right? I think Joe, I hit one for Joe P the other day or a while back. You see, the Joe, Joe P sent me an autograph baseball for the Yankees, right? Oh, it's really nice. With Cody Hosey. Yeah, Dodgers the Yankees time, prospect, right? I believe. Yeah, that's right. He was like the number one international signing, right? Got Asa Lacey. Lacey. One out of seven. We got Spencer Steer from Minnesota. Ryan Nelson. Chalas. Use Neil Diaz for both. 2017 Bowman draft. Nice. Yeah, that's a good year. It's expensive. <laughs> yeah. I was like, ooh, this is Jackson Rutledge. Devin Mann. Escanio. Sebastian Castro. Good night, Patrick. Have a good night, man. All right, see you, Patrick. Little hit for Arizona right there. Lovier. Arosarena. St. Louis. Ontario. You are beyond the these guys up. Yeah, that no. We got Bobby Delbeck. 399. That's for Boston. Kristen Batista. Cal McCann. Is Mel Mana Carbo Logan Davidson? That's an on card for Oakland. Must be good. And Sosa for Chicago.
School Ball. You got Cody Hosey. It's Dodgers. You got a left handed pitcher there. Reed Detmers. And you got on card Shane Saska Sasaki. And you got Abraham Toro. Anthony Velope. Wilderer, Latino. Gators. Josh Jung, I believe that's going to go to uh, Texas. De La Cruz, Dominican Prospect League. Bryson Stopp for Philadelphia. For the Dodgers right here. Bobby Witt for Kansas City. Hudson, Hudson Potts. Nice 13 out of 15 for San Diego. Miguel Geraldo for Toronto. And Tyler Baum. Give me the uh, let's do the updates. Get those out of the way. Yeah. Thank you. All right, one more elite extra edition. Tricky there. Oh, Kobe's at the game. Talking to JJ Brea? I guess they're older school guys. <laughs> Is he wearing an eagle? Yeah, that's right. That's kind of funny. Like LeBron's a Cowboys fan and then Kobe's an Eagles fan. How did LeBron end up a Cowboys fan? I don't know. I guess he didn't like him. Didn't like the Browns? <laughs> the he's all about, I thought he was all about Cleveland. Michael Bush. He's a Yankee, man. He's all over the place. I mean, we're allowed to be all over the place because we're from LA. Yeah, there, there is no football for like a generation. Yeah, Boston, <laughs> but not him. USA Baseball. Darius Lorenzo is on card. Alec Marsh. For decent seats, Big Ray, it's so expensive this year. The cheapest tickets are like, nosebleeds are always like over $100. Yeah. So, I mean, what is decent to you? <laughs> Unless it's like, yeah. like Lakers, Orlando or something like yeah. that. Then maybe it's like 75 bucks for nosebleeds. <laughs> like the Clipper game? One, they said one person paid like over $40,000 to sit on the floor. Wow. 
I mean, I get that, but still, that's a lot. The cheapest tickets on stuff were over 350 bucks. I mean, Laker games have always been more expensive than Clipper games, but not even more because of LeBron. Hundred fifty one uh, hundred fifty points. Right, like that. Candle Williams. Sosa. Yeah, exactly. Gene. There we go, Gilberto Jimenez. Future threat, Sean Murphy. Very nice. I know we don't. We haven't gotten our sweet box yet. I know, yeah. You know, we're on the waiting list. Leo Crawford. I think we're gonna. I think Nick said we're gonna get sweet stuff for the XFL. XFL, yeah. <laughs> Arizona Wildcats. No, remember LA Wildcats <laughs> now, not Arizona. We'll get uh, we'll entertain our our customers. Yeah, if you ever fly LA Wildcats game, we'll show you the real luxurious life <laughs> at Dignity South Sports Center. Yeah, Ooh, <laughs> it's gonna be good. Diaz. Yeah. I'll take those. No, I can okay. take Alright, let's actually just continue to stay with the last two collegiate boxes and then <laughs> we're getting no man, what the hell? <laughs> we're getting nosebleeds for the XFL too. We can at least get our season passes, right? Six five games for twenty for a hundred bucks. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna advertise this Jaspies right there. I wonder how much advertising would actually be at the XFL games. I'd, I'd wonder. Uh, Hins to Extra cards actually go to teams. Okay. So you got this DS. We'll go to TV. Tampa Bay, Toronto. Toronto. Houston for Lorenzo. Arizona for Seth Beer. And this stack, if you want to show it again, is mm -hmm. just is will be randomized to one person at the end of the break. Oh, these ones are here. Okay. Well, there you yeah, go. So those are all the Team USA international randos. All right then. Not drafted. One person. Langleers to 99. Casey Mines. Nice. Detroit. He's still Detroit. Right? Mm -hmm. He's doing well. Brett Batty. Mets, I think. Yeah, I think so too. Shay Langliers? Yeah. Graves. Michael Bush of Dodgers. But these have their own checklist too, don't they? Gavin Lux. 7 out of 10. The nice. Dodgers. The Dodgers say he's untouchable. Really? Oh. Yeah. I think they'd, they'd probably they'd probably trade, like, Dustin May before they trade <laughs> Lux. That's what it sounds like. Why 
don't know. You think they're gonna pull the trigger on somebody? They gotta do something. Yeah. I mean, they're pretty good as constructed, but I think they gotta shake it up a little bit. You got Vargas. Manoa, I know that, I know that one. Uh, Blue Jays, I think. Yeah, Alec Manoa. Prospect draft pick ticket variation. Dre Jameson. Jeffrey. What? Something said basketball? It said BB. Maybe. David Wen Davis Wenzel. Oh, does it really? I can mess up the sprint then. Oh, yeah, it does. What? Weird. It says basketball. Oh, it says basketball? <laughs> That's a misprint, obviously. Error card. Yeah. Even more valuable. Remember when error cards used to be valuable? I know. But now they're just mistakes. Yeah, everybody just, <laughs> like, just like, uh. <laughs> Tommy Henry. Yeah, 101 misprint. Wrong sport. Ebay one of one. I mean, he could be two sport player. School colors, Hunter Bishop. Giants. True. Gallardo to twenty three. Track guys. Yeah, if it's like Kyler Murray, I'd be like, alright, alright, alright. I wonder if they're allowed to have autographs with baseball cards. They never produce any, like, Russell Wilson here, right? Baseball wise, I don't think. One set had a Russell Wilson autograph. Yeah. It was like one. But, like, they haven't done that for Kyler, huh? No. I think I wonder maybe if they will eventually. a few years ago, maybe. Tops Corey Lee. Or something like that had, had included. Some like really short printed Russell Wilson autos. Yeah, I know he has baseball. I was just wondering for Kyler, will they do that for him in the future? Since he was a high prospect. They should. Manziel did have that one year. I think he had it in 2014. That is very true. Alright. Let's get this update out of the way. Probably, I'm not sure, Anthony. I don't think so, man. Because this will probably take me another 40 minutes. So it'll go tomorrow, though. Yeah, this should probably take us right to the end of the night, actually. I don't know how many spots were sold. I mean, I think we're almost there, though. I'm not halfway there. But these two mixers took up a lot of time. I think he fell right on, uh, maybe his head hit the floor too. Yeah, they're just trying to injure him, look at it. Right in the eye. <laughs> just that, just that aggressive blue collar LA basketball that, that we're used to. <laughs> I've never seen a Lakers team play this much defense. Yeah, <laughs> I know, right? 
Seriously, they they're, 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 their defensive rating has been pretty incredible this season. Uh, it's whatever the checklist says, Chance. Yeah, uh, we went by groupratechecklist.com. And um, what was that for, Elite or... Is he talking about elite? I'm not sure which one is. But he said elite and contenders go by group rate check. Yeah. So. Yeah, so he might not currently be on that team, but when the product came out at the time, he probably was. Or in the set, at least he was. Bowers black to sixty seven. Texas. Trent Thornton, Blue Jays rookie autograph. Luciano. So far, Jazz, but at the same time, there's still a lot of boxes remaining. Immaculate boxes back there behind me. There's that Breaker's Row. I mean, not Breaker's Row, sorry. Break Kings. Still a lot of time for a lot of other ones. A lot of other teams, that is.
the second one. Second optic box. Here's recent draft. Um, the Tatis I don't think is numbered, but it's a silver pack. Old draft. And then two boxes of sapphire right here. Put the silver pack first. Cincinnati to 199. Trevor Bauer. On a second update box. Eighteen points for Luca. I guess he was over six and three pointers. They should have beat the Clippers that other day. Oh man, I was watching that <laughs> in, in Vegas, and um, we were at like a, me and my sister at like a bar, and all these Lakers fans here, and then like two lonely Clippers fans <laughs> in the corner. <laughs> As you can tell with every Lakers shot, it's like, yeah! And then, like, who's yeah! <laughs> no, quiet. But then that guy got the last laugh. He, yeah. he, we he was talking a little trash to, to, to me, and uh, yeah, right. eventually. So, what casinos were you at more like the win over there? No, I was at, we were at Caesars because we went to the buffet there. Bacchanal mm -hmm. is a great buffet there. Mm -hmm. If you ever. Actually, we were going to go, but I didn't go. But great food there. Yeah, I just me and Vanessa just went ham and went to this place on my cut. See, because every time I used to go to Vegas as a kid, or like more like a teenager, young teenager, my sister always took me, but just to take care of my nephew and my other like niece. Right. So they would go out like once the whole weekend to this place called Gallagher's right there in New York, New York. Nice. It's like a high end steakhouse place. Ooh. So I was like, yeah. always jealous because I can never go with them. So I finally went. And there you go. Spent enough money, but I was like, man, <laughs> it was great. Even when I got filet mignons and everything, we're like, Ooh. Buffets get expensive, too. Like I know, yeah. The, the Christmas buffet was like 100 bucks like a month. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, so I was, at, I was at Caesars, and then my sister lives down the street from the Orleans. 
okay. on Tropicana. So I was hanging out there while she was at work. So she like in the front front desk or something? She used to be. Now she's like, I think she's like got promoted. So oh, she's nice. like a couple years ago. So she's like she to deal with next level of yeah. So she doesn't. Nice. She's not front of house anymore. Yeah, but I think I guess with these McCann. huge resorts, they have. So like when you call down to the front desk, yeah, you, yeah, you yeah. guys have a plan in Hollywood, right? Yeah, yeah, I call. So you call, call down the front time. desk, and the front desk person goes, blah blah blah. I need more towels or whatever. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So that. So then you gotta think, well, who tells the person to get the towels, right? It's yeah. not that person at the front desk. They put in the request on the computer oh, to a hub in the it. back, and then my sister kind of manages oh, that. That's pretty simple. So it goes to the hub, and so my sister or her team are yeah. the ones actually saying, hey, you know, housekeeper so and so, yeah. send towels up to room 1125 or whatever. So, yeah. so I guess. I didn't really think of it that way because yeah, you, know, you say like a Best Western, <laughs> someone at the front desk is just gonna, it's just gonna be like, all right, I'll call the person. Yeah. But these resorts are just so huge. No, right? I don't think about it. I, I didn't. Was, I, it I was, made sense. I was like, really? So the front, you don't never have to do that. It's like, no, it just gets called into the to the hub team. Yeah. Or whatever. Yeah, because I thought in Hollywood too, and I checked in. Like, I guess that makes sense. I had this like, I got this virtual lady called Ivy, where you could just text her instead of calling. Oh, okay. Like, I need go. towels, and they're like, okay, what's well, I need towels? And we're like, what? Okay. <laughs> Crazy. Planet Hollywood was nice. They I liked they, it, they remodeled it like yeah. what, five six years ago or something like yeah, that. Yeah, I liked it. I had never stayed there before. It's just it's right in the center of everything. Yeah, it's a good location. And then all the restaurants in the mall area. Like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah that yeah, mall area is really great. All right, guys, let's go you, some optic. You know what it used to be? What was it? I think it was uh, Les John Lester. Aladdin, I think. You remember? Uh, no, remember I don't Aladdin remember back in the day? No. I think it used to be Aladdin. And they're trying to hold because I think Paris had just opened up, and then Joe Adele. you know, so they were. Oh, nice Joe Adele. Yeah, I didn't know that. Oh. And so they 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 had that whole like kind of, 99. kind of Middle Eastern Aladdin Arabian Nights sort of mm -hmm. theme, but it didn't really work for whatever oh, reason. Darn. So they they gutted it, and then they just oh, yeah, redid that in yeah. Hollywood. Yeah, Aladdin. I, I yeah. didn't know that. Alan remembers. It was a decent hotel. I remember was well, what I used to go. To, I didn't go to Vegas a lot because my mom just liked to go to Los Angeles to gamble. But the one time I did go when I was like 12, they were barely like building the wind. I remember oh, seeing man. it and I was like, oh wow, it's a new casino. Yeah, Rambert really Valdez. Nice. Yeah, Gary stays there a lot. Does he really? Gary stays there because of the tournaments that he goes to. Freddie Freeman. Yeah, I like my house. cool. I never say this, so I was like, give it a shot. You guys to know? We got three Chronicles right here. But yeah, but the Planet Hollywood remodel was, was really good. And yeah, because then, they have photos everywhere of like Planet Hollywood New York and had like all these other yeah. things, right? Yeah. And then they... What did they do? They uh, Michael Perez. So they did the hotel first from what I remember. And then they did the mall. So the mm. mall's a little bit newer than the actual yeah. property. And yeah, they did an incredible job because when they fin and they finished, there was like Burlap. all these great shops. It's well lit. It's fun yeah. to walk through. Yeah, it is. You know, fun. and there's all these like little like you can go to a coffee shop. You can go to like a diner. You they have have everything. Yeah. Like, what? They get everything there. They have this one robot bar, and it's, and it's not like chain stuff either. It's no, like, it's, it's good, like yeah. it's just unique. Like, the robot good stuff. Yeah, we went to this place with a robot bar where the robot makes your drink. Jazz, yeah. Jazz likes Paris. Yeah, Paris is good too. Jazz I've out. stayed at Paris before. They've got a great uh, coffee. Is incredible there. <laughs> is it? It's like Parisians, right? <laughs> they're, they're coffee and croissants. <laughs> they've got they've got a bakery that's downstairs near the near the casino floor, where they just make fresh stuff every day. It just smells like pastries all day. <laughs> there. Yeah. It's, it's pretty fantastic. And it's a good way. It's an easy walk to Bally's. A lot of sports book, big sports books of Bally's. Yeah, I your Donald just there right there at Bally's. <laughs> Nick, Nick Jaspi likes the Hooters Casino. <laughs> hey, Hooters Casino, I've had some buddies. You can, you can rack up a lot of players' points at Hooters <laughs> Casino and get sweets really fast. Hooters is something else, though. Um... There was there was there's been some trips where me and my like like Nick's brother and I and our friends would go and 
we would like drive there. We'd get there at one in the morning or something like that. We don't even check into our rooms. We just go straight to Hooters and play play craps there. It's, Marte. And just tear it up until four in the morning and then check into our rooms and pass out. Griffin County at 35. Yeah, I like to be said New York, New York does. New York style. There's a, great, there's a great piano bar. I don't know if it's still there. New York. Arena. Yeah, I went to this one bar. It's called Gonzalez. We just danced to like Mexican and Latin music. Nice. I don't spend so much money on drinks that big. <laughs> <laughs> I know. It. I didn't even think about first it. First round of tequila and then second round and third round. I was just there and I was like, just like, oh, you man. know what? It's vacation. Just... <laughs> yeah, I know. To so one of us, the story sister was like, uh, I looked at my budget. I'm overblown from last night. Mackenzie. McNeil. Eloy Jimenez. Keeping the frame card in the pack on the bottom. Okay. <laughs> yeah, Rex, it's like Twilight Zone. <laughs> this is this is Rex. This is the latest <laughs> episode of Black Mirror. Yeah, I, I went to Laughlin a lot too, Jazz, because my family, my dad used to have a boat, so we always used to take it on the river. Ooh, nice. So that's why we were always there, and it was so much cheaper than Vegas. Yeah, I get like free nights at the Aquarius, or you get a BOGO, like buy one night for 50 bucks, get the next night free. That's what I mean when I end up going, just because like, we're like, no, oh, Vegas is cool, don't get me wrong, but not like we're over there going to clubs all the time. We're just there to relax and drink. And... But, yeah, I like to stay at the Aquarius there. Two frames? Ooh. Well, that's probably a relic, maybe. Ooh, all right. It's an interesting box frame. there. Ooh. Vlad Otto, there you Ooh, go. Nice. Toronto. Jeffrey Keats. Yeah, it's it's not. Just don't think of it as Vegas. It's nothing like it. It's probably it's more. It's chill though. It's chill, yeah. It's, really it's more chill, older yeah. crowd. There is a new crowd though, just because of, during the summer it's very nice. People are there at the river, and then Lake Mead is not too far either. So people over there taking their boats and stuff, but it's pretty cool. If you want to just relax and drink and have it like you know chill time it's pretty good yeah it's super low-key it's really nice we got garcia for st louis Last two boxes right here, the Immaculate. Yeah, I've never been to Lake Tahoe. My mom and used to go for their anniversary all the time. And Heath Fillmeyer. The Strat, I think most people call it that, right? To the Stratosphere. Do they? I don't know. What's Nick's asking? <laughs> I don't know, maybe, maybe Nick's a cool kid. <laughs> No, I don't think anyone calls it the Strat. Like, no one calls California Cali in California. <laughs> but if you're out of California, everyone calls it Cali. Morgan. Or Morin, sorry. Is Circus Circus still way over there? Is yeah. Is it still open? Oh, yeah. Oh. They've got a great, uh, like, amusement, Super. like a mini amusement park inside. Yeah, I haven't been there since I was, like, 12. Oh, yeah. My there's mom like, used to there's like There's, like, two, there. like, mini roller coasters that are there <laughs> and all sorts of carnival games. It's so strong. It was like, it's just way over there now. Like, every time I have, like, little cousins, like, visit, like, young cousins mm -hmm. that visit, we'll just take, take them to there, Circus yeah. Circus, yeah. Isaac Galloway. Oh, they changed it to the strap. 
What? He said on Google Maps. The Strat? <laughs> Maybe they're trying to rebrand? Yeah, exactly, yeah. Oh, Nick, if Nick's still around. Nick, look up when Circa's opening. Oh, there's a new casino over there, right? Yeah, that's where that's we're, the that's one where we're Nick and I are doing that, that contest. They have a sports book there. Oh, nice. We're doing the football contest through there. And it was under construction when I went and signed up earlier this fall before the football season. And it looked like they were cruising under the construction. said December 2020 on the Circa. I don't think Circa Circa's got sold to MGM if it did, not just yet, because they're not part of the M life yet. But did they? That'd be cool if they did, because they could do some major, like, stuff over there. Is that the, is that the, is that what it, is that the one, Joe, the one that Nick's talking about? Is that the one that's going to have a crazy sports book, like, outside of the pool? Mm-hmm. With the huge TVs? That's right. Yeah. Oh, I know what that is. That's be cool. All right, we got some Bowman Chrome. 2018. Shane Bieber. And I'm going to go back in February. My nephew turns 21. Has to go. Any other boxes? Is that it? Oh, I think that's it. Ooh, nice. Thank you. No worries. Oh, the Albies. Shohei Otani rookie. Brandon Marsh for the Angels. TV with Alan Willie Adams. Nice. The Mitch Ultra is twenty eight dollars a pitcher. I think this is Bowman Chrome or Bowman Draft. I think this is 2017, I believe, that I'll start off with. I believe this is 2017. Yes, 2017 Bowman Draft. Jeez. Damn, Alan. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed it, Alan. Hollywood. And Enlo Bowman's first for the Minnesota Twins. <laughs> All right, it does add up quick, right? I feel you. Shots of Patron does add up very quick too. It's like we could have just got bottle service if that was the case that one night. <laughs> Instead of just buying them the way we did. You, know, you always think of the after you get the tabs. Yeah, because you're just like, uh, You're like, wait a second. A couple hundred like dollars just... for bottles? For that? I'm sure I could just go buy one for like $30. This, hap this happens to me at like restaurants when you like get like yeah. wine or whatever, right? Yeah, and I'm just exactly. like, oh yeah, I'll have... And then you're just looking at it and you're like, wait, why did I buy three <laughs> glasses of $15 wine when I could have just spent $30 for the bottle? Yeah, <laughs> and I was yeah. like, damn it. I have a 
Perdomo. Blue Jays at 250. Wiley to 99. Danner, purple paper. I know, right? Just play slots or table games. Rather be like, you like me in Germany? Like, yeah, I do. <laughs> you never have to worry about it, right? Just tip the bartenders nice. That way they keep coming back to you once they see your cup or drink is empty. Kevin Smith, D-backs, Bowman's first. One time I cut my... My brother and I would just give him like 20 bucks and he knew he was going to be there for hours. <laughs> so he was just like, <laughs> just, she was always oh, just going to come back. The waitresses? Yeah, because I'm like, just give him like 20 bucks and they'll come back to you all the time. Paris. Did you do more sports bets over there or did you gamble too? No, I just I just did sports book stuff. Best win was Golden State. Oh, yeah? Just to win outright. I can't believe they actually actually beat the Rockets that night. Oh, I know they did. Huh? That's the, yeah, that's it's just straight up. Yeah, I was like, whoa. I'll take it. Yeah, so I read today from Darren Bell. Some guy bet $80,000 straight up for the Patriots to win. Oh. He was going to net 4000 but <laughs> he lost. I was like, man. Wow. That is horrible. I wish I had that kind of money. <laughs> I know, right? You know what I mean? Just say like, like the kind okay, of money where I'm you can down to just bet eighty thousand. Where your profit is only going to be four thousand dollars, but you have the eighty grand. But yeah. you got eighty grand to drop. It's like, all right, all right, all right. That's crazy. I bet he was very disappointed in the Patriots. Still, yeah, it's still losing is still losing, right? No one likes that. I would get, I forget, this is 2019, I think, Bowman Baseball. <laughs> 250 Valdez. Wow, are they only one point underdogs? It's pretty good. I wish they were giving them more points though. That's Johnson, Bowman's first auto, Seth Johnson. And it's a friggin' Sunday one o'clock game, Nick. We're gonna have to 
break a little earlier or something. <laughs> break a little later. <laughs> I know we're gonna have to shut down the store because I don't think we both want to be interrupted that day. <laughs> I told people that like, I don't know if you guys want to see me or Nick on camera play off sad or mad <laughs> if like they lose. No, I, don't see that. <laughs> I mean, I already look like I have a mad face. Ooh, look at this! Oh, dual autograph. Dual autograph out of twenty-five. Priester and uh, Siani. Pittsburgh. Nice. I know, I barely watched today too, but I mean, I was kind of confident they would win. But, you know, next week is a little different. I don't know, Vanessa got me these, like, Vanessa got me these uh, Eagles shoes, like from Nike. So I'll wear those next week for good luck. And Downs. <laughs> I know, dude. Oh my, yeah. I actually had to go to Disneyland that day. I could not back out of it against the Saints. When I says we were, oh, we, Nick had to go live after the yeah, Saints Eagles. I know. He was telling me that right now. We had to guess what, you guys. I don't have that problem because the Raiders <laughs> don't make the playoffs. So <laughs> lucky you, lucky you. Every year I get to watch the playoffs stress free. <laughs> Uh, except for that, that Raiders Texans year where they went to the playoffs a few years ago. Oh, yeah. That was garbage because Derek Carr got hurt yeah. two weeks before. He was out for the rest of the season. That's right. I forgot about so that. So then I just gave up on that game because it was like Matt McGloin or whatever. That's all right. Soon you'll feel the stress. And Langleyers to 50. But yeah, I had to go to Disneyland because we were taking Vanessa's dad for like the first time in a long time. Mm, nice. I was watching it on my phone on the bench and oh, she like literally called me and then I heard interception I'm like what <laughs> I was like they were literally gonna win this game I was like man that was horrible what the hell is Super Bowl I know but <laughs> two years, so it's like we need more cause then Cowboy fans won't stop talking out of 150 if they can win like one more in the next two years I think I'd be very happy they don't have to, fan hasn't won they have to win I know but they still talk And an orange, Franco. No, I mean, yeah, I mean, you felt that this year, Joe. Remember the Dodgers when they lost? Oh the yeah, Dodgers. That was horrible. That's true. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> People didn't see me just die on camera. Yeah. And that probably hurts you. See, oh. for you, Dodgers is like with me and Nick is Eagles. Yeah. You know. Yeah, that's why it's harder. I honestly think I'd ban people, and I don't even ban people. Someone says something funny about the Eagles, I'm just going to meet you. I just quietly put them on a list. <laughs> <I know, right? laughs> Stowers. Yeah, and they'll just be like, I'll just... Let's, just, let's just see when they next time they ask me for a favor. <laughs> <laughs> like, no. And a 99, Alexander. And Mears, San Diego. Man, Anthony Davis is so big. He's like broad shoulders. He walks like. Do they have the two biggest shouldered players? I think in, so. I mean, <laughs> yeah, do I know? Do, yeah, I know. That's right. I forget. Have like the too. biggest like. What are they yeah. the deltoids yeah. or whatever the biggest <laughs> like shoulder Broadway. muscles ever? <laughs> they wouldn't. I don't think they'd be able to fit through this door right here. <laughs> just, like, shoulders are so broad. All right, guys. Well, we're almost done. I have a handful of boxes, but a lot of them are pretty easy.
And a 499 Smith. And Steer for the Minnesota Twins. Jeffrey with that one. And a 499 Refractor. All right, guys. So let's go with this prism. Draft picks. And I believe multiple boxes are right here. So behind Velaz, we're going to go by group break checklist as well. Espino. Logan Davidson to 99. So yeah, we'll go by group break checklist. Give it to the rifle owners. Corey Lee, Will Wilson to 75, and Fletcher to 99. Um, no, I don't know. I want to say monsters. I don't. Joe Dell. Oh, the Joe Dell's pretty nice. That's Vlad right. Vlad Burrow Jr. autograph. Yeah, Vlad. And we still haven't even done immaculate. Yeah, yet. I know that's true. I guess there was some type of monsters. It's been a good mixture so far, though, for sure. Brett Batty. Logan Davidson. Uh, that was from Optic, I believe. I think I have it right here somewhere. Optic Joe Adele, Sean. It was at a 35 orange. What year was it? It had to have been 2018, right? Or I think so, yeah. Bobby Wood Jr. An autograph, Sean, yes. Also, all spot sold promo deadline wrote in the chat is in about 10 minutes or at the 10 o'clock hour. Last order was Sean, and that was like two hours ago. So I see no order since then. So if you want to sneak into the promo, get your spots now. What you saying? I'm going in a year to pack them. So. Oh, Jasper hit packs tomorrow. Also nice. Nice. I was a little confused. I'm like, what? <laughs> yeah. For a second, I was like, what the hell are you talking about? Andrew Vaughn. Gotcha, man. Zach Thomas, Ethan Small, Logan Davidson at 75, Henderson, We got Kyron Paris. Ryan Garcia. Logan Wyatt. 
another 150 points. So we'll just randomize 150 points in one lot. So far. All right, guys. Cool. Uh, let's go with. I actually never broken any of the sapphire. So let's do the sapphire. Is everything like almost top load or something? Everything, yeah, probably should be. For the most one? Okay. Yeah. I'll top load this separately then. And we got Cairo out of 99. Oh, LeBron James PSA 10 of the rookies tomorrow. Ooh. We got Evan Fittier. And I'll talk, get any sleep those later. Lodolo. Hunter Green. Rutschman. Hey, Zai. Sakema and Reyes out of 50, not a 99. <laughs> There's no Muggsy. For real, though. All right, I'll top load those guys. Or paint sleep them a little bit later. Just so we can get through the break. Alright, let's go with these gold labels. So Joe ripped open the packs, but left the uh, left the packs on them. This one actually had two of them, so I might have two frames or one relic in a frame. So see how that one goes. Well, it's, of course there's different levels, but I believe there's only two numbered cards per box. Out of 75, Francisco Lindor. Let's go through all the packs first, and then we'll go through the autos. Out of 99, Ryan Sandberg. Big Poppy to 150. Out of 50, Miguel Cabrera. Alright, let's go with the first gold frame. And it's for the Blue Jays, Danny Jansen. Not numbered. And Jeff McNeil. Actually, you know what? There might be two frames. Feels like two frames, right? That's why. Oh, wait, maybe. I don't know. It feels like a frame, too. They felt like they both felt like frames. Well, two frames frame. in one box. I mean, it's happened before. I think I've seen that before. Corbin Burns. Yeah, this is a frame, actually. Yeah. Like, yeah. Bonus frame. Yeah, two frames in one box. Bonus frame. And it's Reese McGuire. Nice. Bonus. That's yeah, Ramos killing us.
Lonzo. Uh, you missed Lonzo, huh? All right, let's go with this Bowman's best box. Tennis is 2017, no, 18. Daniel Lynch, Royals, Stephen Kendrick. Rodriguez, best performers. And Cole Wynn, Texas. Juan Soto. Alec Thomas for Arizona. All right, all spots sold. Promo window closed. Chris Randone snuck in an order, so he's in the promo. Nice. He's the last one. Chance to win this Kyler Murray autograph football. Bryce Harper. Man, I want that. If you bought spots uh, straight up in this mixer that you're watching right now, you would have gotten 10 entries as well. Madrigal. Same with the football mixer if you bought spots straight up today. From whatever, yesterday when I went off air to Soto. today. 24 hours. Alrighty guys, almost there, almost there. Two top chrome boxes, hobby boxes, and then three boxes of Chronicles remaining, and then one uh, Pantheon, two Immaculate, and a Breaking. So those are the nicer boxes. We'll leave for the end. Vlad, rookie. Shohei Otani shining stars. Future stars, I mean, sir. No way. Easton. Top Chrome rookie refractor. It's a $4.99. Oh, I gotta get this for my dad. We got a JK for the Twins. To 25. Loriana. Oakland Athletics, Jeffrey, as well. Damn, they're gonna smoke cigars after every Lakers win? They're gonna have. Damn. <laughs> I know, right? They're, they're winning a lot this year. They didn't think that through. The previous years, they only had to do it 20 times. Yeah, I was going to say, yeah, last week. <laughs> they're, already, they're already out there. The 20 points. 50 games this year. That's easy. <laughs> Man. Actually, I was having that as a joke. I was like, I want to smoke a cigar. I've I never smoked one of those. Really? No, I've never, I didn't really smoke that much. I always wanted to do that. I mean, you don't really inhale it, right? You just. No, you know, it's, kind of, it's more for like taste. Yeah. You know, like the... You know what's crazy? I seen this one guy. He had his cigarette right here in his uh -huh. finger, and he was doing it like that while he was playing on the poker thing. It was just weird. Like, he, he was doing it like this. Through his... Through yeah, his through his hand. hand. And he was holding it. I was like, what would he want? Is that, is that safer or something? I don't know. I don't know. 
But it was funny. They, him and his, I don't know. I think they were brothers. They were both doing it. Where's the worthy clap? He's gonna change. Gonna be the worthy clap. <laughs> Oh, is the NBA taking a week off? Or the Lakers? I guess the Lakers won't be playing until after New Year's. Or maybe it's a national game. Maybe we'll oh, that's true. They probably won't broadcast it. Kyle Wright? Refractor to 499. Polanco? Blue to 75. And Mullins. McGuire. Cruz. Alright, let's go to the Chronicles boxes. At 25, Elo Jimenez. I would love to see limited baseball. That would be kind of cool. Yeah. Chris and Yelich. Oh, no, no. Oh, it is. 26 out of 75. Aaron Nola. Brandon Lowe, America's pastime for Tampa Bay. Trivia? He pronounces it Lau. Oh, does he? And then, Brown, Brown on this, yeah, on the same team, he gets his teammate, is Nate Lowe, spells it the same way, he pronounces it Lowe. <laughs> Brandon <laughs> pronounces it Lau. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> it's it's that's like hilarious. they're on the same team, it's the same spelling. L O W E. These guys. These guys. These guys. Shohei Otani, the 299, Ben Attendee, so he likes it loud. Yeah. Alrighty then. Chiefs wants to be special. Corey Seager. Jason Kidd works for the Lakers? Coach, yeah. Damn, just, I must not be paying attention. Just breathing down Frank Vogel's neck. <laughs> and he's going to take over. Yeah, yeah exactly. Just like, just like, I'm going to screw up. I'll be right here. Coach Vogel is very open to everybody having a voice and being able to share it. Yeah, yeah. You know, you know, some of them from all out there, too. Because every time they come out, they're standing. Cleveland. Absolute. Heist. Yeah, Heist. Heis. Heis. Alex Tucker for the Titan. I have the redemption. Nick Sensel. Contender season ticket red. Red is nice. Yeah. Oh, the Reds and Brian. Ron Cincinnati. <laughs> Our next box, guys. Keystone out of uh, Pantheon, it looks like. Or no, is this something else? It's called Panini, I guess. What is that set? Oh, I thought it was Pantheon. It might just be Panini set. <laughs> I think it's supposed to be Pantheon, isn't that? Uh, that looks like the P for Pantheon. Pan yeah, it kind of does. Or the Cunha. Okay, cool. Let's uh, let's be quick. Miles Straw, Spectra, Jersey Auto. For Houston at a 199. Kikuchi to 299. Let's see that right now. Matt Chapman, 299. Reserve material. This is the game, if you guys recall, I did the childish little drills and walk through as a dreamer. Like, let's not get beat on shots. Right? One dribble at inside shot. Okay, this is 
this is a game that in the first quarter we got beat on four back to backs. Okay, sometimes it takes a little time to see it, you know, you know it's coming. That's that's normal. Out of fifty, uh, Eli Jimenez. Michael Kopech. And a printing plate. It's a Pete Alonzo printing plate. Ooh. From Ascension. Ascension. There you That's go. Nice. That's Mets going to Jeffrey. There you go. Very nice. Cody Bellinger. Yes. Thick card coming out. This is, this is a thick card just for nothing. Out of 99, Javier Baez. Cornerstones. And we got absolute Trevor Richards from Miami. And you got Pete Alonso to 199. Contenders. Season ticket. All right, one more contender. Or I mean, uh, one more... Uh, other box. We'll put these in here. In the mix. Ooh, that's what I've been waiting for right there. That's what I've been waiting for. <laughs> there we go. That's what I've been waiting for. The Pantheon. I want to see Breakings. I know that's a good one. Yeah, the Breakings. Labor. Carter Keeble. LeBron. Tuki Toussaint. Nice jersey auto. Three color patch. Atlanta. Jeffrey. You got Michael Kopech to 25. You think AD is the most talented player he's ever played with? Yes. Yeah, right? I mean, maybe, pro like, if Kyrie was... Yeah. Well, Kyrie's good too, I forget about that. But no, I don't know, like, more dominant, you know? But Kyrie's not as consistent as... Consist consistently dominant like AD. I mean, I mean, it's hard to compare. Cause like, everybody loves AD more than LeBron. Now. They're two different players. <laughs> like, yeah. like, everybody's like AD yeah. now. It's like, whoa. Kids are coming in here looking for AD rather than LeBron. Kikuchi. So, yeah, it's crazy. Like, LeBron feels like he belongs to basketball. You know what yeah. I mean? He belongs to everybody. You know? Yeah, so like, he's, 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 he's going to share it. Broad star, yeah. But Anthony Davis still kind of feels like ours, you know, like yeah. like the Lakers. So, all right, guys, and the redemption is another Nick Sensel. This time it's gold. Oh, nice. Come on, Nick. He's a good prospect, though. Yeah, right. All right, guys, four boxes left. Pantheon, some Immaculates. That Immaculate has fire potential, too. I know. Let's see. I already cut those for you. Oh, you did? Oh, nice. There you go. Easier. Fuck you guys from doing that. Did you get one at all today when you were doing this? Um, yeah, I mean, I just, I just played some slots in video poker. That's pretty much it. I mean, I didn't spend too much. It's no more money drinking. We gotta, we, we, we gotta go get you upgraded to like table games. Yeah, I know. Like, I already told Joe P. I was like, I'm just nervous. I don't know why. No, we gotta. Then we'll Blackjack, I'm okay with. Easy. But... We'll, we'll just have to go find like some cheap, like five dollar tables yeah. or something like that. I don't know. I just end up doing video poker all the time. But I don't really like to scamble so much. I rather like if I bet, I'd rather just bet. I'll be mad if I lose all this money. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I am. Eddie Murray. Five. But my mom, is, <laughs> yeah, my mom is okay with losing money. She's just like, oh, I played yeah. for four hours, and you know, I only lost like $500, but I'm okay. Yeah, I'm I like, like I, I'm I Marty. That, that does slots, too. And I was I'm like, like well, I can't do it. it. Like, I, think, I think Arthur is is good at slots, too. He's like, how do you do this? 
AP and Arthur Cruz was like, you just gotta have to grind out. Yeah, it's like a grind. Like you just Bill Buckner. It. Yeah, and she plays for it. She even yeah, plays yeah. on her phone. Yeah. I downloaded the casino app, like the slots, and she yeah. plays it every day. She's like, oh, I have a million dollars. <laughs> I'm like, okay, mom. No, but yeah. you, hold on. She she's got to play like. I know she's playing the Vegas one now. Okay, good, good. Yeah, good. my sister. I was, I was like, I was like, if you're gonna play all the oh, time, right. you may as well play. Good yeah, games. my sister told her you should be doing. That. I was like, oh yeah, I forgot about that. Does this work? Work Tell actually, they do yeah. right? Yeah, my sister you plays. Like a combo uh, or something? <laughs> my sister plays win oh, slots right. all the time. That's funny. Your mom should play win slots. Oh okay. Because she because my sister says like you're that's, entertainers. That's like legit pretty good deal for like getting like Where's rewards at at the hotel. Yeah, that's yeah. I didn't realize that those actually like work because my sister started playing it too. Yeah, the ones that are like officially the yeah, the ones that are officially from the casinos. Yeah. There used to be like third party guys that says, uh-huh. "Oh, we'll give you discount codes to like certain places." Those aren't as good. Yeah. Because now the casinos figured it out. They're like, "We'll do yeah, it we ourselves." Can just do it yeah, ourselves. Yeah. <laughs> we'll do it ourselves. And so nowadays, those games are actually not worth it because you have to, you can log in like real points. Yeah. One out of five Greg Maddox is pretty nice. There you go. Atlanta Braves. There you go, that was uh, Lee Smith. There you go, that was Pantheon. I actually only watch like one or two skits, Rex. I still have to watch it. I mean, I have Hulu, so I'll watch it when I can. But um, I did not see it fully. Did you watch it all? The SNL? From uh, Eddie, Eddie Murphy? Oh, no, I heard, it, I heard it's actually really good. Yeah. There's a buzz. I could try to trademark Taco Tuesday. No, LeBron wouldn't be wrong with you. Oh, it's for the people right there. Yeah. Patrick Woods from the 49. I know, you don't, you don't need yeah, any you more money. Yeah, take our Taco Like, was that really him or someone's like, you know what, you should do No, no, he more started doing it on Instagram. It no, but like, I'm saying, do you think he actually wanted to or his manager was like, dude, you should do this? Like, a lot of people are making money maybe Mitch Hanniger? I don't know. Someone don't know. explained it. Like, yeah. they, they were just like, like now you could... Anthony was like a forty business strategy. Yeah, I'm sure there was. <laughs> they will kick you out and ban you. Is that that's not true? Rex saying if you win big, they'll kick you out and ban you. Win big way. Like at casinos. Jonathan Davis, I doubt it. They want oh, you, you want to spend their people. money. Yeah, yeah, you want people to win big, so you could be like, see, see, yeah. remember when Jason Cordero yeah. won a million dollars? You could be that too. <laughs> Jonathan Davis tonight. And then you get like double the people going in trying to be like Jason, who just won a million. Reese McGuire, 7 out of 15. Little eye black auto, rookie material. It's kind of on top. Part of the swipe back. Yeah, probably like a swipe back or something. Toronto. And there you go, Fernando Tatis Ooh. Jr. Ooh! 35 out of 99. Those boxes are fire. There you go. If I could win a million dollars on a slot machine, that'd be awesome. Ooh. Uh, Podge is Chris Parent. Progressives, Max, max bets. That's yeah, it. I know, right? That's the one thing I was like, you're never going to win if you play 25 cents. Yeah, progressives and max, max bets. Our next box set. What is that? Whoa, yeah. what is that? I don't know, that's like a... What? Come around the table what is this? Oh, it's a jumbo sock. Wow. Game you sock? Oh, so Gross. I know, right? Yeah, it kind of smells. <laughs> Ryan O'Hearn for Kansas City. Mm-hmm. Right. That's pretty cool. What is that? Like a... what, what, t- what team is that? Kansas City? Royals? A mascot, that a... maybe? Do you have a mascot? It looks like like a character's nose. <laughs> Get player use material. It looks, like a, it looks like a crown, right? On top. Yeah. And then like eyes and then a nose. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, it is mascot. It is mascot. Says. Okay. All right. <laughs> you lost three hundred dollars an hour, Rex. You weren't happy. I've been there, Rex. <laughs> <laughs> David Price to forty-nine. And we got for Houston. That is a uh, Framber Valdez. They give you like yeah, well, because they want you to come back and spend your money. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Like, oh, you just won twenty thousand yeah, dollars. Come back yeah, with yeah, us. Come back. Here, here's a free room. Yeah, Whitey Ford. And then you put, you put like half <laughs> yeah. that million back to them. You give exactly. half a million back to them. 
Here we got Danby Swanson. Nice. ATL. The last one's. Oh, look at that. Oh, plate? Yeah, but look at And auto? Is. Do you recognize autograph? No. Oh! Tommy Lasorda. Wow! Woo -woo. Look at that, guys. One on one printing plate. Let's go. This is manager. Let's go. Dodgers. Nick LaPlante. Nice. Let's go. Spot random. Team two. Yeah. Well, that's what happens when, like, my mom, she likes to play the quick hits, and you see the three free games. So, like, once you get two, you're like, oh, the next one's going to hit it. All right, there you go. All right, last box, guys. Break Kings. Yeah, like, their cards are right there, so, yeah. Is there three, right? Is there three in this one? Like, football one? Think. They're just, they're just right there. All right, first one is a Jordan Alvarez. Ooh. 30th anniversary, gem in 10 for Houston. The facsimile autograph is still. Yeah. Houston, that's going to Brian. Jason 10 is strong. Take a couple more. Ooh, mini. Christian Yelich, mini Bowman Chrome. 9-5. Nice, that's going to go nice. to the Marlins. Love that these are graded already. Yeah. What was the last one? Looks like an old older card. Yeah. Alex Bregman. Ooh, nice. Oh, Rookie yeah. Rookie nine five ten out of Topps Heritage. The nice. real one autographs. Astros. Nice finish for the Astros. There you go. Jordan and the Bregman. That was it. No memorabilia box, right? No, that's, oh, that's it. it. All right. Nice. There you go, guys. So, nice. again, these cards right here are going to be randomized to one customer in a lot. And if there is other collegiate cards as well that we find that are unnumbered, or sorry, that are not affiliated with any team, we'll add them to the stack here. That's the ones we looked up there. And then number two in the randomizer, which is when these three uh, $150, 150 points combined. So, that's uh, right there. And then there. promo randomizer, separate yeah, video separate, after yeah. this. So number one gets the lot, number two gets a lot of points. A lot of cards, a lot of points. Alright, so let's roll it. We have a four and a five nine times. Top two, win something. Extra. Extra, extra. One. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Nine times. Richard and Allen. So, Richard, you're at number one. You're going to get the USA Baseball, the prospects, the un, uh, with no teams affiliated with them. And then, Allen, you're going to get the lot of, three, uh, of 150 points each. All right. So, there you go, guys. This was the... 55 box last baseball mixture of the decade random teams here at jazbeescasebreaks.com. I don't think we're going to post up another one, at least for not this year, but new ones starting starting 2020. <laughs> January 2nd, we'll be back doing some more mixers for you guys. Appreciate it.